Hi everybody, it's Matt here, your local friendly neighbourhood vestibular migraine sufferer. Apologies, I look a bit rough. I've had a bloody cold um, for the Christmas period, so um, it's kind of made me feel a bit run down and, you know, the whole shebang sore throat. So apologies for the way I look. Um, I hope you've all had a decent Christmas. I know Christmas is really difficult when, you, when you're not very well, when you've got a chronic condition like vestibular migraine or a vestibular disorder. Um, my first ever episode was in November, December period, all those years ago, so I know it does suck when you're ill at Christmas. If you're watching this early in January, then Happy New Year to you, and let's hope this year is the year when you, you really do start to recover from your vestibular disorders. So I'm going to do a little video today on um, vestibular physiotherapy. It's a topic that people often mention to me, and it is something actually that I've undergone. I, I've gone through a, a, a spell of vestibular physiotherapy. So... For those of you who don't know what it is, it's essentially is, think of think about regular physiotherapy. So if you break your leg, you will probably have physio on that leg to improve it and, and well, help it heal, you know, make it stronger, improve its motion, all those kind of things. So vestibular physio is exactly the same, except it targets your balance system, your vestibular system. So there are various exercises and training you can do to to improve and fix and and help mend that vestibular system. So um, it's something that I'd never even heard of. To be honest. I had no idea such a thing existed, but it does. And so it was something I then sought out and looked into and actually then got, got some treatment. So I think the overall aim of it is worth mentioning is it's to help your brain recalibrate after it's been disrupted either by a vestibular migraine, a vestibular disorder, the vestibular viral form, is it neuritis? I can never remember. Uh, and I think it's similar training, people people can have similar training if they've had, for example, a stroke or if they've been involved in an accident which has which has led to a head injury. So that's in a nutshell what vestibular physio is. So I started doing vestibular physio about probably about a month to five weeks into this second phase of of vestibular migraine that I've had so it would have been so I, I it got me in April this this year or last year if you're watching in 2020 and I'd say I probably started the vestibular physio sometime in May and there's probably in the UK you can get referred there by your doctor but also in the UK several places will allow you to self-refer so I was lucky I live in Sheffield as you know as, as you've heard me talk about before and there is a balance clinic in Sheffield. So if you are in the north of England, in and around Sheffield, so if you say you're Leeds, Derby, whatever, maybe it's worth actually just having a look at the, the Sheffield Balance Clinic's website and seeing whether it kind of might suit you. And if, if it does, then maybe it is worth um, booking yourself an appointment there. You will have to pay. But if you're obviously, if you're referred by a doctor on the NHS, then you won't. So I'll stick the link below to the Sheffield Balance Clinic. And I, I, um, I was seen by a lady called Karen who was is my vestibular physio and she was very knowledgeable and very helpful so that's in a nutshell what vestibular physiotherapy is so what are my thoughts on vestibular physiotherapy well i think it's useful actually so i've been kind of given mixed information really so when i went to see my ent she said in her opinion the vestibular physio is good but it won't really have much of effect until if you're a migraine so if you brought the migraine under control so I think there is something in that. I think, and then my um, my vestibular physio Karen also said when it comes to vestibular migraine, the medication is really important. Getting that right medication to slop and slow and stop slop slow and stop that migraine um, and stop the disruption of the brain. If you think about it, if if the migraine still keeps firing, if you're trying then physiotherapy. So, so imagine it just with a broken leg. So if your if your leg's not in a pot and it's still getting hit and snapped. Any physio you do on that leg is not going to work. You have to wait until that bone starts to heal before you start your physio. And it's exactly the same for the vestibular system. So you have to wait until the migraine has stopped firing so that then the vestibular physio will really work really well and really will help your brain recalibrate and, you know, your vestibular system, you know, re-engage itself and, and find the right balance. So, um, so yeah, so I th thought it was really useful, actually. So... What I think it did do for me is I think it helped speed up some of my recovery. So um, my in a vestibular physio session, if you've got a good one like I did with Karen, that she will usually do a series of tests on you. Um, so one of the ones I had done was where I had to fix my gaze on her and then she would rotate my head quickly and then bring it to a sudden stop. And what she noticed was 
as, as I was focused on on her, she wanted me to focus actually on the rim of her glasses. Um, she when she dead stopped my head, my eye, I think it was my right eye, didn't quite lock on to what I was looking at, and that's one of the symptoms. That's one of the indicators and symptoms of a disrupted vestibular system. Another test she did on me was I had to shut my eyes, stand with my arms out like that and then walk up and down actually on the spot and I eventually she said Matt just stop because I'd actually walked across the room and nearly walked into the door of her of her surgery and I didn't know I was moving I felt I was still standing still so that was another test so the vestibular vestibular physiotherapy did I think help with those symptoms so if I'd not done them I think the recovery had been slower so if I'd not done the physio I think I would have been slower so Karen every session would then test me with those same tests. So what we noticed within about five, six weeks is um, when she was doing the eye test and the dead stopping, the eye was um, was not wobbling around anymore. It was locking on the target. And then she got me to do the, the, the walking on the spot again and I stayed on the spot. So they were clear signs that my brain was compensating, my body was healing. And I think if I hadn't done the, the vestibular physio, that would have been a slower process. The flip side is though, as I said, if you're still getting the migraine firing at you, um, this kind of treatment won't work as well. And I was fortunate, I suppose, that I was starting to do some of the medication treatment at the same time as vestibular physio. So I think the best way to look at it is it, it's kind of part of the arsenal. You, just on its own, maybe it's not useful enough, but combined with the right medication and other forms of treatment, it it you know, it all builds up that arsenal to really take on and help yourself get better. So what Karen would do is she'd do those tests on me and then she then set me kind of like homework, I suppose. So these are kind of what you would call vestibular exercises. So they start you off quite basic. So one of the ones you will find if you Google it on or YouTube, it is where you actually lock on to a fixed target and you keep your gaze on that target, but you rotate your head while maintaining focus. And now these exercises can feel a bit funny at first. And I know they can upset people's um, dizziness and vertigo and that sort of thing. But the trick is to to build up the amount of time you do it for. So you would start, you'd do that for like 10 seconds, three times one day, then over the course of a week, two weeks, you then increase the time in which you're doing that. And then what then happens is um, the vestibular physio will start making the exercises harder. Because obviously, just like with the muscle, if you were just to train, say, on a dumbbell that was just 12K for a whole year, yeah, you might be able to eventually do loads of reps, but you wouldn't be really then putting it up to that next level so that the muscle can then even grow even more. So it's the same principle. So what a vestibular physio will do is she'll then, she, he, will then start making your exercises harder so you'll progress from that one to something like this. And here's one I made earlier, blue piece presenter. I'm not, you can tell with the, the crap cutting so yeah that looks a bit weird and you can see it's been christmas so what they get you to do is they get you to have something that's kind of like a really um difficult background to look at that's kind of quite complicated for your brain i suppose but then in the middle of it and you see i've got the letter t probably for twat seeing as it's me but there you go and they then get you to focus on that t and then do that same head rotating exercise and it's, you know, you're a certain distance away from it. I can't remember exactly how far it was. And the funny thing is that when you, the more you do this, the more you get used to it. So it might feel funny at first. I'll put that down because that might be distressing for anybody watching. But it might feel funny at first, but you do get used to it. Then I remember like a couple of friends coming to visit me while I was off sick and I remember getting my friend James to, to look at it. And he was like, oh my God, that's terrible. I can't even look at it. So you do become and, and that actually then shows that your brain is um your brain's actually starting to to heal itself and you're starting to compensate so that's another one of the exercises that, that, that they prescribe another one is where you have like for example two post-it notes so post-it note with something written on it or whatever you know um initials whatever it may be one on the left one on the right you know about a meter a meter and a half apart and then what you have to do then i always used to call this the terminator exercise because what you do is you move your eyes first to look at the post-it note then your head then the eyes go again to look at the other post-it note and your head rotates to it and the reason why i call it the terminator exercise is because that's what arnie did on the first one he would move his eyes first and then his head and it wouldn't it made him look very robotic it made it look like robot eyes were moving um, so there was that one, so I did that one for quite a while. 
And then after I'd done the, the whole poster one, um, I then moved on to, I think it's called Optokinetic Training. And the, some of those videos actually are on YouTube. Um, and I can't remember the, the name of the person who's loading them up, but they're out there anyway. So they're actually then when you when you are actually looking at really busy footage on, so it's basically it's a video of someone moving around, for example, a supermarket, moving around a gym, somewhere that's really quite complicated and busy for the brain. And you gradually again build up your time as you look at those. I think I was doing the exercises twice a day um, for like, it started off a minute or 30 seconds or something then progressed. Um, so then ultimately then watching the full video, which was two and a half minutes long or something like that. And there's various ones, as I say, and you mix it up a bit because it get boring otherwise. So they were kind of the main vestibular exercises that I was doing. As I said, worth I think it's worth trying, but I think based on the advice I've been getting, I'm no expert, but that you'll only really see an impact once you get your medication right if you're being treated for vestibular migraine. I think this kind of thing can really help quite quickly if you've just got the you know the viral form, which usually only lasts about two, two to what about a month, a bit more than a month, and that will help help compensate. So I hope that was useful. Um, as I said, I'm not um, an expert on this subject matter at all, but I did find that it was something. And also, the other good thing as well, when I was going to see my vestibular physio, she was just very knowledgeable about the subject in general, and it was kind of quite reassuring. And if you've been struggling with the anxiety side, you would, um, I would certainly always feel better for at least a day or two after speaking to Karen, my vestibular physio, because she'd give you that reassurance, and you'd also feel like you're taking steps to make yourself feel better. Because I think with this illness, you can feel very stuck you can feel um, like you don't quite know what to do to help you heal. So certainly a vestibular physio is something practical that you can, and tangible, that you can actually get involved with and feel like you're, you know, pushing yourself on and, and getting yourself better as much as possible. So hope that was useful. And as I said, I've dropped the link below for the Sheffield Balance Clinic, but I'm sure there's loads of these places in the UK. There'll be certainly loads in London, I imagine. In the US, uh, Canada, I'm sure there's places that are similar to this. Um, but yeah, check it out. Check the link out. Um, so yeah, I've probably rambled on a bit too much. So I've not done badly to say I had a sore throat the other day and, you know, I feel a bit rough, but there you go. So that was vestibular physio. It's been a video I've wanted to do for quite some time. So I'm glad I'm finally doing something on it. So any questions, do put them below and I'll try and answer them. As always, though, do consult with your GP and your doctors and your vestibular, you know, experts, your neurologists. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm just talking about my own experience with the condition. So, and I'd say that um, I'm probably about 75% now. Um, so I'd, my last video a couple of months ago, I was talking about being 60 to 70%. I'd say that I'm probably about 75% better now. I can pretty much do most of the things I used to do. I just can be a bit more fatigued can have episodes of like derealization. Um, suddenly last couple of, about last week, I've started to not sleep quite as well. I'm not really sure why that is. It might be just because I've been on Christmas leave. I don't know. Um, but there we go. So yeah, I'll probably do another video in the next couple of weeks. I'm not quite sure what topic yet. There's a couple I could do. I mean, one taboo subject I've been mentioned to me is probably is, is about relationships and sex. Um, when you've got um, vestibular migraine, so that could be could be one to do, but I don't want to come across as some kind of um, some kind of Swiss Tony lech or no, it wasn't Swiss Tony, was it? It was the Lord, me, the fifth Earl of anyway, from the fascia. You know what I mean. So anyway, rambled enough. Hope that was useful. And remember, as you were, you'll be again. Cheers, guys. See you soon.